Rathod, Assistant Professor at Biani Girls College, welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPO. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on Sari culture, the practice of rearing a silkworm for obtaining silk on commercial scale is known as Sari culture. This, the species reared is take place where the place has temperature in the range between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and humidity 75 to 80 percent RH. The sericulture is largely dependent on the mulberry plant because the main feed or the only feed of the Bombyx morai is the leaves of the mulberry plant. All silkworms are the moth and belonging to order Lapidoptera and superfamily Bombycidae. And Bombyx murai belongs to the family Bombycidae. Non mulberry sericulture is known as wild sericulture and it belongs to the family Saturnidae. Bombyx murai, at present, it is the most domesticated insect and no uh, strain was found in wild state. At present, Bombyx murai is domesticated and no strain is found in a wild state. It is uh, extensively found in many countries and reared in many countries including India and it is most important of all families of the morai or moths. The silk obtained from Bombyx morai is of good quality and white or creamish in color. It feeds on mulberry plants. The larva of Bombyx morai is 25 mm long and sluggish due to their heavy body. It does not feed. Therefore, it uh, can survive only for two or three days. Mating takes place soon after emergence and which is continued two or three hours after mating, female lays 300 to 500 eggs that are covered by gelatinous secretion of the female moth. Hatching takes place after 10 to 12 days. The young caterpillar is, in 20, uh, is 3 mm long and it passes through the four molds and the last ca caterpillar that is last in star is attained the maximum length that is 50 to 75 mm. Now it is elongated, cylindrical and yellowish in color. Silk bomb, uh, Bombyx murai now it started to produce a strand of silk from the silk gland. The strand coiled around the cocoon and it is accomplished by the movement of the head of the grown larva from one side to another side at the rate of 20, 55 to 65 rounds per minute. Cocoon is uh, the inner part of the cocoon is irregular and the outer part is regular. Pupation occurs, pupa occurs from the pupation and adult secretes uh, alkaline solution that contains an uh, enzyme that is coconase enzyme and it uh, digests the silk proteins and that makes it soft. This is the life cycle of the Bombyx murai. Uh, when female lays eggs, it, uh, it grow in a larva and larva forms cocoon and then pupation takes uh, place. That is male pupa and that is female pupa. From the male pupa, male moth produce and from the female pupa, female moth produce. Thank you, thank you and thank you for watching this video. For further videos, you can log in our website that is www.gurukpo.com.